Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Atelier Room here at Bridge at Classic Cars. Now, this evening, we have Freddie behind the camera. Hello, everyone. And Craig's also here this Hello. evening. Hello. If you have joined us, you are here for the live draw of our gorgeous 1987 Porsche 928 Series 4. Oh, gorgeous and very noisy a few minutes ago. <laughs> just to so, say exactly what happened. That's, this is why we're a little bit late. Sorry, by the way. we're a little bit on the drag. Well, um, so one of our team from Bruiser, the lovely <laughs> Sam over there in the corner, give us a wave of shame, Sam. Name and shame, wow. <laughs> he um, opened the door on our Porsche and set the alarm off. Now, I can tell you, if you win this car and the alarm goes off, the burglars are going to run away <laughs> very quickly. So we've been scrambling, trying to get the um, alarm to stop going off. And it seems like it stopped. So we do apologise if halfway through our live draw this evening, the alarm starts We're going gonna off. We're going to bolt it next door and get away from the noise. <laughs> it seems like one of these really special ones that doesn't have a battery. Because we've looked <laughs> everywhere on this car in the last two minutes to try and find a battery. But don't seem to have one. So yeah, we are sorry if it does go off. But... It has actually sold out. This car has sold out, so you cannot buy any more tickets on it this evening. And one lucky person is going to win this car tonight. So if you have got tickets, do comment along. And if you do actually have a Porsche um, 928, please do tell us where the battery is. Because <laughs> <laughs> we couldn't find it just then. <laughs> now, if the Porsche isn't really your bag, you may have noticed that we have other cars which are live on the competition's website right at this very moment. So, we actually have this 1958 Austin Healey Frog Eye Sprite. Now, tickets for this car have absolutely gone mental. Flying, I mean, I think we're in, what, uh, two days into the competition? Two days into the yeah, competition? Yeah, about that, yeah. Um, for tickets, and there's three quarters sold. Would you say about three quarters of the tickets of the Frog Eye sold, Craig? Sort of, I'm having a quick look now at exact numbers, but yeah. Certainly over half, half within about 24 hours. Yeah. So this got a, it's, it's got a pretty cool engine in this one, which makes it very special indeed. So Freddie, can you remind me what the engine is in this one? Yeah, so it's got the, uh, the larger 1275cc engine and twin Weber carbs. So it's a little bit exciting under the bonnet. So our team in um, the marketing department have decided to name it the Pocket Rocket. Yeah, Pocket Rocket, yeah. Backyard Bruiser, or Backstreet <laughs> Bruiser, I think another one uh, that Nick came up with. Yeah, there's some good ones. And it's also got a five-speed manual gearbox as well, which makes it really, really nice to drive. You've actually driven this one, haven't it's you, It's really nice. And another thing as well is a lot of people have asked whether it's got a soft top as well as the hard top. Yeah, so the hard top's removable. The soft top is brand new. The it's frame still in the is packaging, isn't exactly. it? Exactly, yeah, it's brand new. It's so, still um, in the packaging. It's a lovely... And we never really went to... So I bought this in auction. We never went to the auction to look at this car. Um, went there, just fell in love with it. I can see how you did. The roof is a bit of a funny one because I absolutely lo love the roof. And I then two it. people I spoke to at the auction were like, are oh, you going to change the roof? And I was like, mm, I don't know. But I don't, yeah. A lot of people love it. We've seen a, a lot it's of people really saying nice. that they like it online. And also at our Mini Madness event last week, I asked people well, whether they liked the roof or they would change it. And lots of people said they liked it then too. Yeah. So it's three, three quarters sold. So it's done really well. 1,500 really tickets well. left. So the launch sale on this car is going to be ending this weekend, over the Easter weekend. So if you did want to grab your tickets before they sell out, which I think they are definitely going yeah. to, I would do it as quickly as possible. Now, if you haven't bought your tickets yet and you're humming and harring, I'm going to show you a little video which might make you change your mind. Take a little look at this. Hi, I'm Molly from Bridge Classic Cars, and this is your chance to win our 1958 Austin Healey Eye Sprite. and enter the draw, head over to the Bridge Classic Cars competition's website. Good luck. So there was a little closer look at our frog eye sprite. What do you think about it at home, guys? Do, do tell us, because we love to see your comments. So, um, Craig, you were going to mention how yes. it drove. Sorry, I how ignored it you, didn't I? <laughs> yeah, so it drives absolutely lovely. Because it's got the five-speed gearbox, it drives a lot more modern. It feels a lot faster. Like all classics, I suppose, always feel faster, don't they, um, than they actually are. This feels like that. So it is like a little pocket rocket. It's really nice. 
So yeah, I'd get a ticket for this. Yeah, and I just love how it looks. It's really nice, isn't it's it? It's really, really nice. I think, like, for me, it feels like the epitome of a classic. Yes, yeah. It really does, with the colours and everything else. Now, I've got something exciting to tell you guys. So you may have noticed, if you're a hardcore bridge fan, and you've been on the website already, but another vehicle has dropped today, and it is this bike behind me, our 2011 Ducati 900 SS. And here she is. She is a stunner. The colours are so beautiful. I love the red and the green together. It just looks really lovely. And there's also something that is very special about this car. Now, bike. it's a bike. That's what's Oh, special. I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bike about this bike. <laughs> every time I think we should make it into a game, every time I call it a car, someone needs to Which like, is most of the time. Which is most of the time. Someone needs to like put a thumbs up comment or something like that and try and keep them. So and make sure that I stop <laughs> calling it a car. Is it going to make you stop, though, a thumbs up? <laughs> or maybe a thumbs... Oh, no, no, don't, don't, <laughs> don't do put a thumbs down. Don't do put a thumbs down. <laughs> so, this bike is very special because the ticket price for this bike is the lowest ticket price we have ever had on a vehicle here at Bridge Classic Cars. And the ticket price, if you'll believe it, is actually £1.90. £1.90. It's crazy, isn't it? And you could win this absolute beast. So this is a, a super bike. rare bike. I believe, uh, I don't know the full story, but uh, the chap I bought it off said it, I think it's like one of 54. Um, and uh, it's the very, one of the very last of the 900 CC bikes. So they went, then went on to do a thousand. So it's, it's gonna be a future classic. I mean, it's nice, it's a classic now, but yeah. it's certainly gonna be a future collectible um, because of its rarity. And you actually have a Ducati, don't you? I do, yeah, not one of them. I have a uh, Scrambler, but I think it's similar. I've not yeah. ridden this yet. Yet, yeah, I will. Maybe it would be a nice this weekend and you can come and take it for a spin. Normally we do a video, but we've never done we a video do. on this, have we? It's because the weather was so bad. Ah, we the need to get you on so a bike bad. as well, don't we? <laughs> <laughs> the look of fear. <laughs> I give it a go. I'm willing to give everything a go. So yes, this is on for the launch discount price of £1.90. And I'm going to show you a little closer look at this car now. So take a look at this. <laughs> Hi, I'm Molly from Bridge Classic Cars and I'm here to tell you how you can win our 2011 Ducati 900 Super Sport. To find out more, head over to the Bridge Classic Cars competition's website. So there was a closer look at this bike. It is a bike, it is a bike. <laughs> Now, we do always love to hear your comments, so Craig, let us know what people are saying Sorry, tonight. yeah, I've, I've sort of uh, kind of ignored people, really, so apologies for that. So there's a lot of people obviously ha saying Happy Easter, hello to you. Um, happy Easter, everybody, Happy Easter. Jason, so Steve, first of all, will say, my father and I both have tickets for tonight, um, and then I think you're probably going to go on to this next car, so I will, uh, it's a nice little link through. Jason is saying, I love that Escort. <gasps> Should we have a quick look at the Escort? Everyone loves this Escort. Let's have a look. Now, this is definitely been turning heads in the workshop today and yesterday. The technicians absolutely love it, don't they? Not just in the workshop, and we, we took it out, didn't we, Freddie? Yeah, amazed. I heard. Ten uh, seconds into the drive, we had people <laughs> flashing their lights at us, people waving. People love this car, and rightly so. It is gorgeous. Everyone's got a story about um, seeing one of these cars or owning a car just like this, and, yeah, it seems to really resonate with people. So if that's anything to go by, I think it should be right quite popular. Freddie did say within the first kind of 10 minutes that it had arrived in the workshop, you two had taken it for a test drive. Straight away, yeah. Quality got, control was two <laughs> minutes, not even 10 minutes. <laughs> not even two straight minutes. off the lorry. I think even before the delivery driver had gone, I think we, um, we were out. You were off. How did it drive? It's amazing. Really, really nice. Oh, it is. <laughs> so a bin lorry was coming cool. the other way and they all bibbed and then um, we stopped to talk about it and take a couple of photos of it and then another chap actually turned his car around no um, way. parked up next to us to have a look at it like freddie said everyone's got a story about this and john who's um workshop technician um he's got one very similar um at home that's in a million bits and he keeps saying he's going to do it but he fell in love with it as well yeah um, so well yeah. maybe seeing this one is going to entice john into 
doing his. Yeah, we are trying. We are trying to get him to do it. If he's watching along, he'll say it. He'll come in tomorrow and go, oh, I better get started soon. But he's, he's been with us about 10 years. It's so eye-catching as well. Yeah. Like, so bright and eye-catching. So our last one was green as well. You weren't here for the last no, one, were you? No, no. Okay, so the last one was green as well, but a different green. Um, I don't know what one I prefer, really. Do you prefer this green, Freddie, or the other one? I, well, I like the green, but I also like the matte racing stripes along the side. I hope that's coming across on camera, but I think the Ooh, matte yeah. black on this kind of more lime green looks really, really cool. Definitely. And can I tell them a secret? This is actually going to be a competition car as well. I think almost everything in this room is going to be a it competition is. car. Almost everything. everything. Yeah. Actually, no, no, everything in this room is going to be a competition everything car. Everything in the room is going to be a competition car. So if there's anything that you fancy the look of, write a little comment and we'll take a little closer look. There's we'll a lot of love um, for the Mexico. So Adam is saying loves see. it. Steve is saying, so Steve won our MGB. Oh. He's watching along. Steve, there is oh, yeah. another MGB that is going to be up for competition soon. So this is our MGB GT. I think he already had an MGB, so this might be MG number three. <laughs> Maybe that's overkill. There you go, there you go. This one is definitely orange. So Jason's very happy. So Jason, who, who spotted this in the background, he's really happy. He said he's going to buy loads of tickets for the escort. <laughs> So Jason, we've got one happy man Jason, now. <laughs> for when it comes out to you. Um, but I also want to tell you about some other things that we do here at Bridge. So not that long ago, we had an evening with Ed Stafford, and it was amazing. It went down so well. We transformed the whole of our atelier building. It was almost like we were in a completely different space. Yeah. It's so versatile, this room. And it was a brilliant evening, and he was such a friendly guy, spoke to us all, and I really would like to show you a little snippet of the evening that we had with him. So take a look at this. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the man himself, Ed Stafford. They basically said, we're going to drop you off on a desert island, you'll have no food, no knife, no clothes, nothing. Could you do that? And the honest truth was, I just said, I don't know, I've never done this before. And, and so they went, perfect, let's chuck you into it. Well, we took our little boy on a survival experiment on a desert island. You know, he saw a jaguar sunbathing on a rock. I mean, at the age of eight months, that's a pretty cool thing to do. It's better than a storybook, isn't it? Isolation is a little bit like a mirror. If you're completely at peace with yourself, have no doubt that you can row across an ocean, you'll be absolutely fine. I think if, like most people, you've had something happen in your life, most people have some sort of traumatic experience or whatever. For me, it was probably adoption, but if you've not addressed it, you've not had any therapy, you go into isolation and suddenly it, you can't stop it, it kind of explodes out of you because you've got, not got Facebook to distract you or cigarettes or alcohol. You just literally face with yourself and it's quite raw and it's quite unsettling um, if you've not got the tools to, to unpack it all, I guess. So it definitely was a, a difficult experience to go through. A couple of other things I want to talk about, but uh, one of them is the Land Rover that we're going to be giving away in yeah. just over five minutes' time. And the winning number is 1,671. Jamie Blows, congratulations. You are now the proud owner of our 2015 Land Rover Defender 110. Amazing. Now, we're just going to try and get the number for Jamie. Hello, Jamie. You've just won my car, mate. <laughs> so let's hear it one more time for Ed Stafford. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. That was our evening with Ed Stafford, and it went down so well. And actually, someone won his amazing 2015 Land Rover that night, which was really cool for then Ed to be able to be the person who pressed the button to give the person that car. Unfortunately, they didn't answer their phone. We spoke to him since, though, Jamie. I think, judging by his... Oh, we spoke to him and delivered his car. Judging by the photo, it looks like a younger guy, but that was the first ticket he'd ever bought with us, and it won. I don't know if that makes things better or worse for people entering, <laughs> people but might be like, oh. imagine that. That was the first ticket, and he bought just the one, and he won one of our biggest competition prizes. It's just incredible. Like Anybody can win this, guys, but you have to be in it to win it. So um, we've been looking at the comments, and a gentleman called Matt said that his dad used to own one of no, these. No, I read that wrong. His dad has one. His dad has one. And so he said it would be absolute dream to have one as well. <gasps> it would, wouldn't it? Imagine yeah. having the same car as your side dad. Side by side. You could go in convoy places. 
Amazing. So yes, this amazing car is going to be won this evening. But if you're like Matt's dad and you have a classic at home, we would absolutely love to hear from you because we are starting a new um, series all about you guys at home with your classic cars. And if you have a story about you and your classic car, please do send it to um, marketing at bridgeclassiccars.co.uk because we would like to do a little ditty with you guys where maybe I could come and visit you and hear your story and take a look at your car. And we think that would be something really exciting to do and involve you guys in as well. So if you do have a story with you and your classic car, do let us know. I'm looking forward to doing it. I'm really excited. It's going to be really good. Um, really Colin excited. has mentioned the Mustang that is currently behind you. So Colin yeah. Clark, will the Mustang be a competition car? Let's just say every car in here is going to be a competition car. So there you go. And you heard you go. it. Every car, bike or van. Yeah. Car, bike or... Yes. Yes. So yes, our Mustang is going to be a competition car. We shot this um, a little while ago. So it will be coming to you very, very soon. Now, I didn't get the pleasure of driving this car, but I did get to see it in action when we had our rally day, where me, Freddie and Craig um, went down to the Swite Horse. White Horse. <laughs> I was going to call it the Swan. What the White Horse in Blythborough um, on our rally. And we were in the Ford Cortina, and um, the gentleman who did own this um, Mustang came up beside us and zoomed off into the distance. So I have heard the engine roar, and it is epic. It's loud. So it's got a boiler exhaust um, fitted, which if you know what one of them is, it's super loud. It left us for dust. So I've known this car for a really long time. This belongs to my friend Jack, um, who's decided. It's really low miles as well. That's probably worth mentioning that. 16,000 miles he's done in it. Um, he very rarely uses it, and he's uh, made the decision that he's going to let it go. We've kind of wanted it for a while, even though we don't really do many modern. Um, we like to tap into a couple of moderns, so as soon as he said, yeah, I think I'll let it go, we add it. It's really nice. It's a proper one. It is. It is stunning, and I cannot wait for you guys to see it come up on the competitions page. Now, if you did want to be the first to know about our competitions and all the things that we do here at Bridge, do jump onto our mailing list. So go onto our um, website, go to the bottom, click subscribe, and you'll be the first to know about launch discounts, cars coming up, all the exciting things that we get up to here at Bridge. So if you did want to know, that's where you need to go. But tonight is all about our 1987 Porsche 928 Series 4. Now, personally, I think we should do the draw. Yes, but I think after the draw, what we should do is probably, because there's so many comments from other things like the Rover, someone's mentioned, and the Ford, but yes. we won't, we'll do the draw, and then if you want to watch we'll along back. afterwards, yes, we'll go and have a look at so everything else as do well. do stay tuned to see all of the other exciting things we've got going on. But now it's time for the live draw of our Porsche. Let's do this. It's like the Morgan, for instance. The Morgan, you've, you at home have had oh, interaction yes. with the Morgan this week, so we can show you the Morgan. We can show you well. what we've been up to with that. All sorts going on. So the entry list is live on our website, so you can jump on that and have a look. So I'm just going to double check the amount of numbers. I believe it is 4,928. So I'm just going to double check so you guys can see it as it well. It is, yeah. At home. Oop, nearly there. There it is. Do you see what we've done there? Porsche 928, 4,928. <laughs> 4, Do you like it? That's Freddie, that is. <laughs> Not my best work, that. Yeah. <laughs> There we go. So I'm going to go to our random number generator. Please do, as always, let me know that you can see it nice and clearly. So I'm going to do a test run to start with. 5,026,000. This is a practice run, test run, just to make sure that you can see it all nice and clearly at home. There we go. Are we hearing any clears? I'm not seeing anything come through yet. So if you can, just let us know that it's clear. It's just important that you see the screen and you make sure you're 100% happy with uh, what you can see. Okay, they are starting to come through. We'll wait for it's a couple more. Through. Gary is saying clear uh, from here. Adam is saying it's all good here. So yeah, they're starting to come through. Jonathan's Let's saying it. it's clear. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, so we start from one and we go four, nine, two, eight. Can you just all double check that for me, guys? Correct. Yeah, 4928. Okay, so this is the live draw for our Porsche 928 Series 4. 
Good luck, everybody. I'm going to count down from three. Three, two, one. Number 3,365. 3,365. Okay, let's have a look. Porsche, 3,365. So I'm going to go down. Where am I? Nearly there. We're buzzing through the names now. I'll go a little bit faster. So 3,000. Oh, gone too far. Gone too far. Three thousand three hundred sixty-five. Correct. Okay. Oh. Oh. Three thousand three hundred and sixty-five. We have a winner, Mr. Ian Adams. Ian Adams, congratulations. Oh, it's gone the wrong way. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, there's always problems. Do 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 do. Where are you? Didn't get you the mouse and the keyboard today, oh. did we? There we go. Ian Adams, 3,365. There you go. Congratulations. You are now the proud owner of a stunning Porsche 928 Series 4. There we go. Congratulations. Commiserations, everybody else. But as we said earlier, this room is absolutely jam-packed full of competition cars and we'll take a closer look at those in just a second. We're going to try and give Ian a call now. So we're just waiting for his number. But if you do enjoy jumping in on our competitions here at Bridge, I really suggest that you maybe become a VIP member. Now, VIP membership is just £10 for the year and you get 10% off all of your purchases for tickets on the Bridge Classic Cars competitions website. So if you do buy tickets and you are up for trying to win one of these amazing cars, then I suggest you become a VIP member. Because why not? £10 a year, what's that, a couple of coffees? And you could get 10% off every purchase that you make. But yes. So, so whilst I'm doing this, Adam is asking um, what colour did we choose for the Morgan wheels? Yes. So. It's not what we chose, it's what you chose. It's what you guys chose at home. So here is our Morgan. As you can see, it's floating at the moment because the wheels have gone. As I mentioned last week, you guys decided that you would rather have them in the beautiful silver than red. So that's what we've done for you. I think They're away. About 80 to 85% of people voted for silver. So, so it's a fairly overwhelming. Predominant, predominantly silver. Predominantly silver. So that's where they are at the moment. But talking of decisions to be made, for those of you that don't know, we are restoring a rather exciting car at the moment, aren't we, Molly? Yes, so we are restoring a Jaguar E-Type. Now, this is when it gets very exciting because we are asking you guys at home to help us make decisions on the look of the car. So we have gone with a beautiful new paint job, which is happening as we speak. It is in the paint shop at the moment, and we have gone for blue because that is the original color of this car so we thought we would stick to its roots and go with the blue but we would like you guys to decide the color of the interior the dash as well yep everything's still up for um everything up for discussion now so if you have any ideas on what you think you would like this car to look like do let us know because this is all about you and at the end of this project it is going to be a competition car for you it's going to be a competition car for you. So it's amazing that you guys can decide what we're going to do with the car. Which is exciting, I think. It's something very different as well. I don't know if we've already touched upon it, but we delivered the Mini just a few days ago to uh, another happy winner. Yes. So we, deni delivered? we delivered our Mini to Anthony. Now, Anthony was very excited to have his Mini. So here, um, here's a little picture I think you can see on the screen of Anthony with his brand new Mini. So if you ever did want to see our winners, they are all on the winners page on our website. But now I think it's so time this for is us to give Ian. Ian a call. And then we'll go back to some of the comments afterwards because the Rover wants to be looked at in the Ford, so we, we will get to it. Oh, have I lost? No, it's okay. Well, I've lost it. Ian Adams, yeah? Yes. 
Hello there, is that Ian Adams? Yes. Um, hello Ian, I'm Molly calling from Bridge Classic Cars. Oh, hello. Hello. Um, did you happen to buy a ticket for a 1987 Porsche 928 Series 4? I did, yes. Well, I'm calling you, Ian, to let you know that you are the lucky winner of this car. You're joking. <laughs> I'm being very serious with you, Ian. You are now the proud owner of this stunning Porsche. Oh, wow. That's amazing. I'm guessing you're not watching live, Ian. I'm not, no, no, I've literally just got in from shopping. <laughs> well, there you go. What a lovely news to have on Easter weekend. <laughs> That's incredible. Congratulations, Ian. Um, can I just ask you, how many tickets did you buy? I'm trying to think. It might be one or two. Two. I yeah, it was two. Two, yeah. two tickets. So you've won this beautiful car with just two tickets. Congratulations. So, Ian, can I ask you as well, whereabouts are you? I'm in Harlow in Essex. In Harlow in Essex? So not too far yeah. from us, Ian. Really? But, yeah, we're in Pettistry in Suffolk. Uh, I'm right. <laughs> well, congratulations, Ian. You are now the proud owner of a Porsche. Wow. <laughs> So what, what now? so what happens now is one of our team will be in contact with you and we'll get this car delivered straight to your door. Fantastic. That's <laughs> amazing. Well, congratulations. Thank you so much for answering. It's so amazing always getting to talk to you guys. Oh, that's brilliant. Thank you. <laughs> I can't even believe it. Yeah. <laughs> I've never won anything big on a competition ever. Well, there you go. Tonight you have. Watch it back on our Facebook page and you'll see us um, revealing your name. Lovely. Thank okay. You so Thank you so much, Ian. Thank you. Thank Thank you. you. Bye. Bye. Well, there we go. Another very happy customer. He did sound happy, didn't he? Yeah. That's what we like to see. Very happy. Now, Craig did mention. I'm going to try and get some of the comments. So, so Phil, listen. Phil is asking about the um, the XR4, which we've not really touched upon. So yes, Phil, this is also going to be a competition car. Freddie, would you like to have a little closer look? Where should I go, Molly? Uh, I don't know, the interior looks pretty neat. It does. Very good condition. And then we have got... Um, sorry, I've got to go back because I've lost... Oh, and Anthony um, is asking about the Rover, the Rover 220. Ooh, yes. Let's have a little look at the Rover 220 so as well. So, the Rover 220 Turbo, we filmed this a little while ago. So, this is going to be coming to you. Am I allowed to say? You can, yes, yeah, very soon, isn't it's it? It's going to be coming very soon. It's going to be coming next week. So, keep your eyes peeled on the competition's website. This is quite special, this Rover, because it was actually in the opening ceremony of the Commonwealth Games. That, that actual, car. actual car. This yes. actual car. So technically, the actual car is famous. It looks so much better now, though, because it's been through the Bridge Classic Cars paint shop, and I just really hope you can see on camera just how gorgeous this colour is. So we've, we've, been been looking for, we've been looking for a 220 um, Turbo for ages, and it's one of these cars, a little bit like the Saxo and things like that in the 90s, that um, they're all, they've all been messed about with. Um, but this hasn't. This is absolutely true. Yeah. Um, so nice. And like Freddie said, we've put it through. It didn't really, again, it was a little bit like the white mini. It didn't need painting necessarily. It's just a little tiny few bits on it. But, but just to make it sing. So glad we have, because yeah. it's amazing. I mean, you weren't too sure on it when you first wore it, were you, Freddie? But the more we filmed with it, I'll I be honest, yeah, it's Freddy really, really grown on me. I, at first, I didn't fully get it, but then once it was painted and once it was here in the studio, I thought, wow, do you know what, this car is I, I, I saw it with my own eyes. I I've saw not, him falling in love. I've not had the pleasure of driving <laughs> it yet either. Apparently, this is an absolute rocket. All Rovers are lovely to drive from that era, I think. But we'll try and find the YouTube clip because, yeah, like Molly said, it was on the Commonwealth Games. And it's the bit, if you remember it, it was um, the Union Jack when all of the British cars um, went into the middle of the pitch and they made the Union Jacks of the red ones and the white ones and then the blue one. And that's one of the last to go on. Um, and it is quite different because obviously it's a different blue to the rest. So if you watch carefully, you can see, you can see it appear on the screen. We'll try and find it. That would be really cool as a little clip to show you guys. Yeah. To show you guys at home. But yeah, so is there any other cars that you would like us to No, I think at? we've covered... Oh, the camper. Oh, there was someone asked about the camper. Yes, Gary, can we see the van? <clears throat> Here we go. 
here it is. Now, I keep wanting to call <laughs> it the wrong name. Go on, call, what, what is it? Toyota Re Regus. Regis. <laughs> Not Regal. Oh, I to call it Regal <laughs> again. Toyota Regis. Now, this is fresh in the Bridge Classic Cars workshop, but it is nearly ready to go. So we'll be shooting this very soon. And this will also be a competition car. To I'm be not fair, having a look inside. Can we have a look inside? Yeah, absolutely. Unless the alarm goes off. Oh, yeah. no. Yeah, no, <laughs> no, no, it's fine. Will. It should be fine. Yeah, go it's on, open up. Open up the side, yeah. So it's pretty much, it's, to it's ready to go. We're not going to, I don't think we're going to oh, need to do wow. anything on it. Oh, this is nifty, this is. So what happened, when it came in, it came in um, with the conversion already done by the chap who owned it before, and he was... Um, very clever chap, and um, and he didn't like the interior and the kit that came in it, so he ripped the whole lot out and made it bespoke to him. Wow, he did so it himself. All did it all himself. So the seats, uh, sorry, oh. the bed comes out to over six foot, wow. um, which you can fit in it. Really? Yeah, you can fit in this. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I'd need it out. This would probably be fine for me, but it, it, it is done up nice, if I say so myself. So we're going to shoot a this microwave uh, and everything. There's a microwave and everything. And a TV. She's no, that an is air cool. Fryer, it? Air, an air fryer, air fryer is the way to go now. The way to go. Mini fridge. That would be brilliant on a weekend away. A little country trip down to Cornwall. I'm not sure about the toilet situation in the camper van though. Is there a toilet in it? It's like a potty thing. I never knew that. <laughs> yeah. I never knew that. I'm not sure I'd be okay with that. <laughs> Might find a campsite with nice blues. <laughs> but there we go. So congratulations, Ian, who has won this beautiful car. It's worth noting we've got some exciting events coming up soon. Yes. Especially Drive It Day. Let's do a shout out oh, for, yeah. uh, for what's going on with Drive It Day. So yeah, I was just going to say, Ian, maybe with your brand new Porsche, <laughs> yeah, you you're can not far bring from it, us. Yeah, as no, you're not too far from us, to our Drive It Day, which is on the 23rd of April. Now, our Drive It Day is a national day, isn't it? Yes. Where we raise money for the NSPCC and share our love of classic cars. Now, our driver day is going to be starting at Bentwaters, and then we're going to drive in convoy down to the workshop here in Petter Street, where there's going to be food, there's going to be music, and it's going to be just a really, sunshine. really good time. There will be sunshine. Definitely be sunshine. It's going to be a really, really good time. Now, I want to give you a little um, a look at what our Bentwaters kind of car shows are like, because it's going to start with a kind of car show. So here is an open morning that we had at Bentwaters not too long ago. So take a look at this. Bentwater is going to be like before we drive in convoy here to the workshop. Now, if you did want to find more information about our drive at day on the 23rd of April, head to the Bridge Classic Cars website, go to the events section, and you'll find out everything you need to know about it. Yes, and I wonder, Freddie, are you going to bring a car? To I the am drive indeed. Yep, yeah, I've got a proper classic now, so I'm going to be there in my MGB. Oh, yeah, uh, I thought yeah. you might bring the suit, so you're going to bring the MG. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Cool. And Craig, are you going to bring a car? I'm going to bring a Lotus Elise Series 1 that we picked up last week. So I'll be driving that. And can I drive a sit shotgun in someone's car? You can probably take one, I reckon. Yeah, you've got what? the pick of the bunch, really. Can I? Yeah, of course. Oh, that'd be exciting. Guys, what car would you like to see me drive at Drive It Day? Or the Ducati motorbike. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, please don't say that one. Look at the excitement there. <laughs> oh, that'd be cool. What car would you like to see me drive, guys? Let us know, let us know. But thank you so much for watching this evening. Congratulations to Ian. And from me and the team here at Bridge, we hope you have a really, really 
lovely Easter weekend and we will see you all very, very soon. Good night.